Hey, what, what, what is that? I was about to open up the episode, and I guess I still could. So hello, and welcome back to LP's LP of Banjo Tooie. Uh, I found a, I found a nice little treat here. Uh, last episode, we got a single jiggy. Uh, this Jolly Rogers Lagoon is posing difficulties for me, but this episode we're gonna get at least one more jiggy and be done with it for the time being. Uh, I have a, a, a lack of, of ideas, to be honest. Well, I have a. <laughs> I say a lack of ideas, all right? I have some ideas. I don't have anywhere near as many ideas as I would like or feel comfortable with to, uh, you know, to connect us with these jiggies that we so desperately crave. That being said, there are some ideas. So I'm going to go through this tunnel, which I haven't actually been through in a long time. I don't think I've been through it since we entered, in fact, uh, a couple episodes back. It might... Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So is this just sending us back to the... The entrance one? I mean, if that's the case, that's not bad because we're looking for places where we can use the torpedo move of Kazooie's. And there might be one here. Actually, there is on that, what is that like a spacecraft looking thing. This flying saucer, I believe, has a Kazooie face. It does. Beautiful. Kazooie? Oh, no, no. We need to. There we go. Go do your thing, my friend. Beautifully done. Beautifully. Okay, so now we're, there we go. This is going to get us the jiggy that I crave. Very much like it. But what exactly we're going to have to do in here, inside the UFO, aptly named. Look at this guy. Look at these these fellas. There's a whole bunch. Of, there's a ginge. What are you doing hanging out with these people? You're a you're a you're a minjo. Of course you are. So are these people bad or are they just confused by you? Of hiding sheep amongst wolves or wait, a wolf, a wolf in sheep's clothing? <laughs> Tell me, well, no, no, no. either which way, talk to me. Greetings, of feeble earthlings. Whoa, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Betai, and Gamo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess, you need a phone home? No, we need it. We have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Crystallized ice, you say? I've got some ice eggs that'll probably prove to be helpful there. What do you say? Well, our ship has run out of fuel as we have no ice to power it. Not so superior now, are we? Okay, and you? Our ship has run out of fuel. Okay, you are all the same as is Kazooie's response. It's fine. Now we can just fire eggs into there? Do we have to do it from down here? Something of an aiming? I suppose we could just stand on this square and fire them away. Do we have it? We have six. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Well, maybe six is enough. Maybe six is enough, right? Maybe we just need one egg per hole. Provided I don't miss more than twice, that would be fine. Come on, shaky fingers. That worked. Power up the other crystals quickly. Chill out, guy. Oh, 20 seconds. Well, yeah, maybe rather quickly would make sense. Oh, God. There's our, our one of two allowed misses. Come on. Fingers, don't fail me now. Okay, we've got five seconds to go. Four, three. Did we do it? Oh, barely. Gosh, darn it. That was stressful. <laughs> Thank you, Earthling Baron Bird. Now please exit our ship as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Uh, any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. Yeah, you, you may have that. Now go. Fine. Fine. I, I see how it is. No... Oh my god, they're firing weapons inside of- No, you know, no wonder you're stranded here. Some of the most irresponsible extraterrestrials that I've ever met. How do I leave? Where is the- There it is, this, this hole blends in. I hate it when the holes blend in to the walls, alright? It makes it hard to find them, and you never want to have that problem. You never want to have that problem. So, presumably the shiny thing that they referenced was a jiggy, which means that we are right there. 
Connecting the dots, getting the one thing I wanted to get. Nav scanner, strange glowing lights on all systems to go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. Well, I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Truly irresponsible. Truly. Firing weapons inside of your ship, ejecting your children into Aspen, Colorado. How could you? Like a plot line of an 80s movie. All right, where is the jiggy back over here? There it is. Very nice. Please let me dig my face in here. Excellent. We got 31 jiggies. Um, I, I have an idea of where one may be, but I want to go back up here because so I feel like we need to transform into something. Right? I feel like I haven't seen Humble Wumba here at all, but I feel like we need to turn into a submarine. The reason being is because there is that one portion over in the locker room area that's like a black pit, and originally I was confused when Jam Jar was like, Hey, it's too deep. The water pressure is going to blow your head off. And I was like, why, why do we not have this blocked off at all? Why do we have the ability to access this? Uh, I remembered... You know, late at night, a couple nights ago, you turn into a submarine. Now, of course, Mumbo does not do the, the transformation thing for you here in this game. That's Humble Wumba like we just talked about. But maybe he can help us. Or maybe there's something here that can help us find Humba Wumba. Kind of a stretch, but I mean, I'm out of all options here. Yeah, no, there's nothing. I thought maybe, you know, sometimes you find things. Can we get up here and... Do something at all? Is there something here? No. If we talk to him, he's just going to swap, and I don't want to swap with him. I don't want to be a shaman. Right? Not today. I already did that. Is there anything at all? Anything at all, man? No. No. Where is the exit? Did we just pass it? Put, wait. What was... Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what that is. You know, maybe we can actually do something with that, though. Let's blow our face off. Yeah, okay, great. This is something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what, but I'm kind of... Oh, we're at the friggin' turtle sanctuary. I know, this is a turtle guardian. Hello. Goodbye. We've got a bat. Hello, turtle boy. Talk to me. I don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem, Tip Top? It's my baby. He's about 32 weeks late. Uh, can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Oh, Tip Top, you're from, from Banjo-Kazooie. I remember you. So do we... How do we... How do we how do we promote hatching here? Not with an explosive, clearly. Uh, what else do we have? We have normal eggs, egg on egg on egg crimes. No. We can cook it. No. We can freeze it. No. We already tried this. That doesn't seem accurate enough. We can try it one more time though to make sure it connects. Yeah, that's not it. We stand on it at all? We can. The drill doesn't work. What about the regular pound? No. That's the strongest friggin' egg I've ever seen. You know, I've broken some eggs in my own life by not even dropping them. Is there something in this pool of water that's going to help us? Uh, the pool of water is largely empty. Uh, there's just water. Literally just water. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Hold up, though. What's this? It, it's it's a wall. Great. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. <laughs> Not really. That's fine. Maybe we need a move we don't have? Can we just, like, pick it up and put it in the water or something? Like, that seems like it should be a thing that would help. I don't know. This is not... Well, so we lucked into finding this spot, but it didn't actually help us. But I guess we'll move back forward or outward or backwards or whatever this direction is and go get involved in some other business. I want to find that angelfish with the jiggy in it. Oh my god. There 
It freaking is. You know how long? How long I've been pursuing this thing? It's been like 40 minutes. I... Mm, I've had one heck of a time. But hey, none of that matters now because we have our prize. 32 jiggies, my goodness gracious. Kazooie celebrates with a... Hey, what? There's... Oh, there's Humba! Humba Wumba! Let's go back to Banjo real quick. And go... Well, let's get to Globo first. Look at this. All sorts of good things are happening. My god. It's no wonder that I failed to find that, uh, that angelfish or whatever they're called. I did not even realize this was an area I had not explored yet. Uh, this is, uh, through a cave in Atlantis. I was certain that I had gone all of the different directions exiting Atlantis, but apparently I had missed one. What is this? Humble Wumba's like half underwater. Can I... What's going on here? Hello? You have global one give humba? Yeah, but aren't you like way pruning? I'm like in your chest too. <laughs> Banjo's like, hey, humba. <gasps> Smells like cinnamon. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. I'll just throw it in. Yeah, you know, swim around back to the front side there in an appropriate, an appropriate distance. Very good, buddy. Okay, so I guess we just swim down there now? I mean, you say jump in the pool. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm my feet are in it. We'll dive into the pool. There we go. That's an interesting way to do it. Uh, we, we dove in. We're expelled, but it's fine because now we're a submarine, and it makes sense that we're underwater here because how else would we move around as a, as a submarine? Wumbo, call this submarine. Use control stick to turn on spot and A for much speed. Press B for sonic ping attack. Ooh, or Z for torpedo. Holy Toledo, it's a torpedo. No, there it is, there we go. And infinite torpedoes too, it looks like. I'm just gonna, oh, no, nope. well, maybe not. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start blasting, you know, like the great prophet Danny DeVito. So I started blasting. Note to self, do not blast when your face is in the blast radius. Uh, where, where, Where is the exit of this here establishment? I believe it's this direction. Now I just need to go back over to the locker room segment. I do, see, I remember some things. Go back to the locker room, and then we can delve even deeper and get another Jiggy. We'll get three this episode. Look at that. It'll be the most productive episode yet if we can. There we go. Uh, Locker's Cavern, thank you very much. And left, yes. The Sonic, what? Nope, no, left is wrong. Right, even further right. There we go. Just firing torpedoes because we can. Into the abyss. What are we going to find down here? It'll be dark, I have to imagine. No, it's not. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points and I might give you a prize. Do you need instructions? Sure. Instructions would be helpful. I'm guessing that the blue are three, green are two, red are one. You deserve points. Blue is worth three points. Green ones will get you two. And only one point for the red. Beautiful. Part of the course for all of the other games. It's fine. Let's get blasting. Just blast away. What do we need, 60 points? Figure if we just yeah, keep blasting a heck of a lot, we might blast ourselves. Oh, but we might blast some some of these guys too. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting something I'm not even aiming for, which is lucky, of course, but hey, I'll take luck, right? If you can't, if you can't be good, at least be lucky. And if you can't be lucky, well then at least, you're alive. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I try to, I try to be as lucky as possible because honestly, I've found that luck is even better than, than being good outright more often than not, especially in like work. I mean, I mean, that's not inherently true, but like you gotta be, you gotta be lucky to be in like the right position to get the right promotions and do the right things at the right times. doesn't always get you that. You gotta, you gotta luck. All right. It, it's a sad reality of life that luck is inherently a major factor for all things. So I guess with that being said, don't beat yourself down if you haven't accomplished what you want to accomplish because likely luck was not on your side. 
but luck was on our side here, which is why we were able to get our third Jiggy in one episode. Jiminy Christmas, first time in Jolly Rogers Lagoon that I can say that. Now, where is this precious trinket? I'd very much like to speak with it. Please? Jiggy? Jiggy? <laughs> Where, where's my par There's my Jiggy! Goodness gracious, don't hide from me like that! You know it upsets me. Do you want to play again? No! No, I do not. I have exhausted the usefulness of this submarine-like state that I find myself in. At least I, I believe I've exhausted the usefulness. Of course, there's probably some other things I could do with it, but at this point, and let's double check before I say something that isn't true, we've got 70% of the Jiggies here. Which is good enough for me to vacate the premises. Now, how do we... Where's the little teleporto? Teleport potty here? It's over here. There it is. I see it. Then we could just take this back to, I guess, Atlantis? Let's send, send out a nice little beacon first. Very good. But if we send this back to Atlantis, then we can go back to Humba Wumba, where we will then, of course, transform back into Bird and Bear. And then, I mean, there's still a decent amount of time on this episode. Uh, I'm going to use the rest of the episode to, uh, to move on to the next... Where am I at? Is that the exit? That's the exit. So we're going to go this way. Yes, Mercury. It's perfect. <laughs> I know where I'm at. Uh, we're going to use the rest of the episode to uh, to move on to the next stage of the game, which I have to believe was the stage immediately outside of Jolly Roger. Whoa! Jiminy Christmas! Do you see how much air we got? A friggin' submarine. This is like a humpback whale. Goodness gracious, that was astounding. So majestic, too. Can we... I have some visual here on the entrance. Thank you. Anyways, yeah, so right outside of the entrance to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, you're on, like, the cliff surface, and there was a walkway with, that we had extended a few episodes back prior to uh, to coming into this stage at all. I think that's where we'll end up being, of course, once we speak to uh, to King Jiggy Wiggy, Master Jiggy Wiggy, Priest Jiggy Wiggy, then we'll know. And I figured some good old-fashioned fast travel was in order. Uh, no reason to make you watch me slog all the way back here the hundred miles or so from the uh, the cliff surface to Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Either which way, though, we're here to complete yet another broken puzzle. These are going to get more and more freaking difficult because, yes, there are shapes that help us, but the shapes are applicable to a number of places. Like, we're going to have to do trial and error. Really, that's not good there either. Oh, I mean, that's the corner. That's right. Well, <laughs> shows shows you what I know about puzzles, all right? My wife, Serena, she's the puzzle queen here in this relationship. Me? No, I am more of a... Eh, not even a like a puzzle prince. I'm like the puzzle jester. I, I, you know, I can do them, and they're fun when you do them with other people, but I just... I don't I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just... I don't, I don't have that right sense of, uh, like... I don't even know what the what the word is like like scale like seeing a little piece of an image and being able to extrapolate it out into the full thing. It's really difficult for me. I have a really difficult time doing it. But hey, thankfully, I'm able to make it work well enough with these like age four and under puzzles that Banjo Kazooie here is hand or Banjo Tooie is handing us. Jiggy Wiggy rewarding us with our effort or for our efforts with a, an access to the next stage. Let's see if it's exactly where I thought it was. Uh, where I thought it was, just to reiterate, reiterate, was back on the cliff, just across the way from Jolly Roger Lagoon. Behold the power. The power. No, it's not actually. This is somewhere else entirely. The Isle of Hags Wasteland. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I do remember this. I remember this stage very faint. I actually don't remember the stage at all, <laughs> to be honest with you, but I do remember the idea of the stage. Uh, so the way, the wasteland, I wonder if that's... We have to get there through the cliff face because that's not at all close to where we were, at least not close in the way that that I thought we were, right? Like, I, I thought we were just across the, the chasm. And we do have enough jiggies to open up the next place, which presumably would be that, but we're going to hold off. We're going to go back to the cliff top, not the cliff face. 
and see if it's somewhere around here. I have to imagine that it is, because we haven't exactly been uh, granted access to any other places. So maybe it's, yeah, since Jolly Rogers is right, let's go back left. Uh, there's like a train thing over here. Of course, there's Mumbo as well for the train. No, don't you go dive bombing me. Stay out of here. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. Uh, then there's this. I guess we're to sidle across with our grip strength. There was no no enemies on the wall, was there? I should have taken a look. No, it looks like this is fine. Oh, it's the train switch. So this is not necessarily how to get to the stage. But this is fine. I mean, this is still accomplishing something, which I'm, you know, thankful for. Opens up the door. Maybe we need the train to get to the, the wasteland, right? Like that... I don't know. I, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that makes sense, but we haven't needed the train to get anywhere else, so I don't know that it would make sense for it to... The game that is... Spring, last up, spring that on us now. And we don't even have a Globo to enlist Mumbo services, though. Don't touch me. Get out of here. I suppose we, it wouldn't hurt to go inside and say hi. What's up, Mumby? It's been a long time. How are you doing? Oh, you've got honey in your pit. Great. I, I love what you've done with the place. Really, you're an inspiration. Yeah, we got we got no harmless little creatures to sacrifice to you. So, well, maybe he doesn't need one, though. Let's just let's ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. He always needs one. His craving for these these little creatures. Yeah, no, he, he craves craves the creatures. We got none, buddy. I'm sorry. None none creatures for the shaman. So my next idea is to go back to the uh what's it called? The glitter gulch mine area. Uh and maybe we can maybe we can find the wasteland from there. It was like a similar a similar looking ecosystem. It was very, I mean, it looks similar to this, to be honest with you. And hey, there's bird trot stuff up there for a, a Jinjo, which doesn't, oh God, no, <laughs> no, can't you see? I'm looking at the Jinjo. You come over here and punch me on my backside. It's not very friendly. Now let's see if we can, we can go find the wasteland at the plateau. There we go, that's what it's called. I was like, what is, what is that called? It's all it's called something. Uh, plateau, 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 plateau. Plato sounds like a weird word now. Uh, any other information we can glean from this direction? No, that takes us over to Witchy World. Well, maybe Witchy World. You know, that might... There, there's a pool of water. And if I... Mm, did that pool of water have a... Did that have a Kazooie face in the pool of water? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going crazy here because I don't know what I'm doing. But hey, again, as always, that's part of the fun. Kazooie face? Kazooie face. No, cause yes, Kazooie face. Wow, that was weird. There wasn't, and then there was. Beautiful. And some notes. Look at these notes. These notes are mine. They belong to me. Kazooie? Oh, Kazooie can breathe underwater. Delightful. Oh, wait, where are we going? Come back here. <laughs> Kazooie's like, see you later, Banjo. I'm going to go do the thing. Or maybe we had her turned around. It would seem that's the case. Because anytime you come up on like a, a map change as Kazooie Solo, at least in that format, she always goes right back to Banjo. Now we're inside another digger tunnel. Uh, maybe this is not what we're looking for. What do we have here? A cutscene. Is this... Oh, it is a Kalongo. What's up, dude? You're still bruised from our last thing. Revenge-seeking minion. Oh, no, not you again. <laughs> Mistress, said Kalongo must stop you, or I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating, too. No, Kalongo win this time. Has new potion to try. <laughs> it is grape Kool-Aid flavor. Look at it. It's green. <laughs> And I eat the glass, too. Oh, not fine. Clever, Klungo. No. Well, Klungo, you may be clever and invisible, but you're not invincible. Hey, look at that. I see you. Yeah, you're going this way. Ha! Look at that. <laughs> no, no. You want to throw Kool-Aid at me? I'm going to not hurt you because you got a force field. Can we... 
Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there you go. There you go. I see you. Ooh, you going this way? Where are you at? Oh. Ugh. Did that count as a hurt? We just kind of touched him. Do we need to peck him? Or is rolling into him good enough? I don't know. Either which way, I should probably just stay close. So that when he does this... There we go. That worked. Oh, we killed him. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I guess we were hitting him every time. Very good. Very good indeed. He's not dead. He'll be back. I think we fight him like three total times. Baron Bird Beak Park Rondo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No! Mistress needs me! <laughs> Klungo returns for more beatings and then work on new potion. Oh, buddy, Klungo, you need a better set of priorities. Which way are we going? Are we going to the white light? Or the dark? Uh, let's go to the white light. I think that this is the direction we need to go because I don't actually have a good reason why. <laughs> We're just going to do it and see. Because what does it hurt? Nothing at all. And it looks like it was. The Isle of Hags Wasteland. Perfect. So this was the location we needed to uh, adventure towards. And we get a new move to boot. Even better. The hits keep on coming. 315. That's three plates on each side. The ultimate egg for you to hold. A clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. Nice. It's huge. It's like a friggin' ostrich egg. That'll be all. Peace out. Very nice. We got the timer eggs. How does that operate? I don't remember. Poop one out real quick. Oh! Use the control stick to move the bomb around and detonate it by pressing B. We got a timer. We got a 20 second timer. Oh god, not when we're getting assaulted. <laughs> oh, that friggin' animal's on a suicide mission. What were you thinking? I'm trying to test out my new little minion here. And you're like, nah, we're all gonna die together. Okay, so... It jumps, it sounds adorable, it looks adorable. It's got a very sharp beak, though, which is, I mean, slightly less adorable than, uh, you know, like a dull beak. Come here, you are my first victim. Delightful. Mission success. Let's open up this so that we can come back here with ease should we leave. And there does seem to be, a, like, a good amount of things around here. I, you know, I have, I have a keen interest in scoping out the stage itself, but not before we go up here and rescue... A precious ginge or two. Hmm. You know, far be it from me to draw any conclusions, but one of you, I'm guessing, is bad. Yeah, suck it, huh? You outed yourself coming to assault me. What are you thinking? All right, you can come home. <laughs> well, that's the first red, one of six, all right? 15, uh, it's like 16 point something percent. I don't know. Math. What is it? Can't do it in my head. Not now. Not in that magnitude. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. We've got a crack here which we can explore. Let's take a quick gander through it and see what we've got. Ooh, another stage. Obviously, this is for a later time. What does the sign say? Cue here to ride in the great mobile elevator up to the clouds. Up to the cl I think this is actually the last stage, if I remember correctly. This is like the final one you get once you, uh, obviously get enough jiggies to unlock it. And not like final, final, right? Like you have to go and do the big old fight with Grunto, but the, the final, uh, jiggy accumulation stage, if that makes sense. Uh, looks like there is still yet a couple of things to investigate here. Like, what is this up here? Some egg? Don't touch me, man. Don't you know I have a bird in my backpack? Like, you don't ever sneak up on someone's backside when they have a bird in their backpack. They're gonna kill you. <laughs> There's no one more dangerous than someone carrying a bird in their backpack, all right? That's, let that be a lesson to you. So we have this that we cannot actually... No, we can. There's, there's this up here. I was gonna say we can't do anything with. We still can't do anything with. There are spring shoes here which we have not learned how to use. These are the springy step shoes, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. Yes, because we cannot comprehend lacing up these types of shoes. Sprinting shoes? Yeah, of course. We know all about those from Banjo-Kazooie, but springy, uh-uh. Whole different mechanism. Any which way, we have found our way to whatever the heck this is. 
which of course means we're going to find out what it is next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed yourself, and I look forward to seeing you then.